That doesn't drink right. The rules have changed, and it's my incentive to be first. Uh, but I think that the way you do it, if you do it responsibly, if you say uh, these allegations are being made, that is actually factual. You, and, and then you develop the story. If people follow on Twitter or read online re real reliable sources, uh, they'll be fine because we're going to present it. This is being talked about. This is developing. And then ultimately you will get to, to a thorough analysis. The problem is not the internet. Uh, the problem is the way people are doing it. When you Google a bit of news that you're looking for, well, and if you find it from, you know, politics, Daily or the Washington Post, you're more likely to click on that than on some of these other sites. That's where I think there'll be a backlash. Make the point that it was a New York Post reporter who was holding him accountable, saying, "Prove what your allegations." Who is going to try to interview or take a picture of the ten-year-old love child in tabloid parlance? Got to leave it there. Matt Lewis, Julie Mason, thanks for joining us. Day in your life. Stick around just ahead. What makes Glenn Beck so popular, and does he really believe his own rhetoric? Dan Milbank on his new book in a moment. I switched to a complete multivitamin with more. Only one of you.